Duke gets the ground ball. When O'Neal slips, the defense kind of gets out of sync because they thought they had an opportunity to double. In this three-part series, we're going to be talking about three different variations and progressions you can use to work on shooting through a defensive approach. The first variation is the most common, shooting around an approach. Top, still plenty of time to shoot. O'Neal from the alley, slips, Clary tries to jar it loose. Ledman, one more, McAdory finds the angle and scorches the top shelf. Brandon O'Neal, Duke gets the ground ball. When O'Neal slips, the defense kind of gets out of sync because they thought they had an opportunity to double O'Neal because he was on the ground. And the ball moved away. Do they have a chance of getting in? Oh, they got to find a way first, and Denenzo says it's a four-goal game. Duke gets another opportunity, the freshman Balsamo. The biggest thing we want to emphasize when shooting around an approach is extending our hands and using our stick that has eyes to find the back of the net. This is a great shot to shoot when the defensive approach is coming at your body. That way, you can step in, use the defender as a screen, and extend your hands around to get off your normal release. When shooting around the approach, it lends itself to a sidearm shot, but I wanna challenge you to use as much of an underhand release as you can to still shoot around that defender. This allows us to still be able to hit all four spots with a similar release. 